Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for kind of an interesting video. I was doing my daily searches on AirPods, just trying to see what's out there, and something interesting came up. It was from Walmart. So now Walmart is selling AirPods. I have so many questions. So yeah guys, if you want to check out anything in this video, I'll leave it linked down below. First and foremost, I've made so many videos on AirPods. Thank you guys so much for the love. You just recently got subscribed. There has been so much hype since the Louis Vuitton AirPods, all the way down to the $4 fake AirPods, down to three AirPod tricks you should know. If you guys missed any of those videos, they'll be right up there in the iCard. Our poster had an oopsie there, but you guys have seen all the videos on these, all the tips, tricks, the real ones, the fake ones, the train ones, the $4 ones. It doesn't matter, but when it comes to Walmart, I have so many questions. Why are they selling AirPods? Are they the real AirPods? Are they the $159 ones? Are they the i10s, the i11s? There are so many videos coming up on more AirPods because the AirPod 2s are coming out, but I only think it's fair before those come out to jump on Walmart and finally see what's going on. Obviously this is going down through the Walmart marketplace, so obviously sellers, kind of like on Wish, can go ahead and post up a photo, sell it, and then ship it and fulfill it through Walmart, but that's just too much for me. That's too much for you. You wanna see me waste all my money to see how bad Walmart's AirPods are, or if there's a secret we didn't know about. The first thing to do is get all these ordered. I have no idea where this is gonna turn, so I guess first thing to type in Ev is Walmart AirPods. Don't even type in AirPods on Walmart's site. So Walmart AirPods. Here we go Ev, $35 for wireless headphones. Sold through Walmart. Walmart's actually selling the real AirPods now, almost like two years later. I know they've had them in stock, but I just gotta get to the bottom of this. All right, so clicking in, we have the i8X compared to the i11s. I don't know how they'll sound. I know how the i10S sound. Drop a thumbs on this video if you guys want me to do a video on TechSmart 2, maybe comparing all of them together. Maybe it'll be on here. Only if this just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Let me know in the comments if there's any other pairs you guys want me to try. I've tried finding the i12s. Unless one of you sends them to the PO box, it's not happening. I've ordered six times now. All right, so the first pair here, wireless headphones, Bluetooth V4.2. So definitely not the i11s or the i12s. I think those might have 5.0. So kind of like all good things, we gotta read the reviews and the description. i8X compatible, iPhone X 8 Plus. So just a copy and pasted description. Four to six hours of continuous music. I don't know about that, Ev. The charging box only takes one and a half hours to charge, and the wireless earbuds only take one hours to fully charge, plural. All I wanna find out is how good they sound. I mean, i8X, I don't think I checked those out in the Wish video. If you guys missed that, where I bought all of them on Wish, right up there in the iCard, this is just one of the pairs. Don't think this is what we're getting from Walmart, but you never know. Let's see what these reviews are saying. We'll get a few more added in. Are you ready, Ev? One review, one star. It says, don't buy this. Okay, so this is literally the worst purchase of my life. It didn't work. It was not to scale and it would not connect. I decided to buy this considering it had five stars and I disregarded the fact that it only had one review and naively just purchased it. Don't make the same mistake, February 28th, 2019. So that's kind of a freshie. That's definitely a recent one. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna just add to cart. All right, so just jumping on right into the next listing. There's $35 right there. Let's see what these white Bluetooth wireless pods. These look an awful lot like the ones from Wish. I know it when I see it. I bought all of them after all. So we'll just go with, there's not even a white pair. There's one review and it also has one star. For $14.99, do you think you're getting two or is that just the one pod price? I mean, compared to the first one, 36 bucks is for two. I wouldn't be surprised if only one showed up. Wish has definitely shown me a different side of the world. Ergonomic design ensures comfort wearing without hurting your ears, no matter how long time you wear it in the gym or running. Ev, how long time are you wearing your AirPods? Wow, enjoy an untangled music experience, perfect partner for sports enthusiasts especially. This is why you gotta read the descriptions. These are the i7 TWS, so four generations later, the i11s or the i10s. This is just one big phenomenon I didn't think we'd get into, but that's why you're watching TechSmart and you never know what will happen. Let's just check this one review out. I think we got a few more. We're not buying all of them on Walmart. They're probably very similar, if not 100% like the ones on Wish. 
So let's see what this review says. Will not connect without turning off immediately. Oh man, Ev, we're in for a good one. Difficult to set up and rose gold color was not as advertised. It's pink, just pink. Battery didn't even last a movie. <laughs> I don't know why I find enjoyment, and you're probably laughing at home just reading someone else's miserable review. I hope they got refunded. I really hope that's the Walmart way. So we got two pairs of pods added to the cart. Let me know in the comments right now if there's any other pairs that I might be missing on Walmart's site. It seems like these are just the two most popular ones. $24. What could these be? Two, what? <laughs> 221 reviews. So I'm feeling good by GoPro, not GoPro, about their wireless earbud stereo they got a button on the side and it's good they're very open about that they're not insecure about having a button on the side compared to like the real airpods so for 24 dollars, i'm assuming we get two pairs 221 people bought these wait no way so bluetooth 4.1 did the last listing say gupro sound no way okay so changes it up a little bit listing the listing we aim to show you accurate product information. Don't know if that's always true in this case, but the GoPro Sound Bluetooth 4.1 headphones looks like the i7 TWS because of the Bluetooth settings. We'll find out when we get them. Seems like we're just finding a duplicate, but the fact that 221 reviews are on here, four out of five stars? Can does that sound right? So far, so good. I've had other Bluetooth headphones from another company and I accidentally left it in my pocket and washed it twice. Surprisingly, it still works. I bought another one just in case. <laughs> sound quality is great. Battery life lasts about four hours. I wish it came with its own charger plug, but I do have a spare one. I'm sure if you have an iPhone or if someone in your family owns an Apple device, you're probably covered. Great alternative to AirPods. These are pretty awesome. I use them for running and have no issues of them falling out or hearing any noises as I pound into the pavement. Wow, we got a really good runner there, Ev. I can barely feel that I'm even wearing them. I've been using them with a Series 1 Apple Watch and they pair up automatically and within seconds of turning them on. So that's good to hear. Maybe this is the real winning pair. Okay, so this is a two-star review, but I kind of think it's telling. These earbuds are much too large for the average user. You might be able to use them if you have very large ears. I've included a picture with an unrealistic photo on the box which makes them look much smaller than they are and another with the earbuds in my hand for reference. Oh my. What, dude? Those don't even have holes on them. How is music gonna get played or any audio feedback gonna happen? So it looks like there's only a cutout on the tip where you put it into your ear. So there's no speaker there, speaker there. And that's what the box looks like? Just a pair of ears. Just a pair of ears. I actually think from the photos that might be the real pair of AirPods, but not the ones that ended up on the site. Doesn't matter, we're gonna buy them and I think find one more pair and I think we should be good. All right, this last pair has got some futuristic red laser beams. I think it's just the LED indicator. So I'm guessing the i7 TWS, HBQ i7 TWS. So maybe a little bit better quality, higher, better quality. That's probably what HBQ stands for, right, Ev? The reviews on this, this might be the second most bought pair of AirPods on Walmart's site outside of obviously the official AirPods. So four and a half out of five stars. These things are awesome. Great base, cool charging pack, long battery life, outstanding sound and so easy to use. Great product, would recommend to anyone. Okay, so everyone's ecstatic. Excellent base, cancels out the noise, lagging sound and broken within five days. Just look at that. The cords fell out of the bottom part of the AirPod where it's supposed to charge. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. What happened? I can't tell if that's like, do you think that's circuitry? A dirty laptop or just maybe a defective one that probably got replaced or probably hopefully was replaced. My daughter got these for Xmas. I purchased a protection plan for them to tell me it wasn't covered by my daughter's accident, was charging her earphone and went to take them off. And well, one came apart and one of the wires also broke. And that was from January 31st, 2019. So I don't think it's safe to assume anything. The pictures look enticing, kind of like every Wish video. All we're really gonna do is just add it to cart. I have no protection plan on this one. Okay, all right, all right. Just wanted to ask. Four pairs in, $120 about to be spent. I don't know, Ev, how you feeling about this one? We've checked out basically every pair of AirPods, I mean, with the exception of the i12s, got the i11s here, on planet Earth. Any other pairs we haven't seen, you think? You let us know in the comments. 
Now we wait. It took a few days, but everything showed up from Walmart. Actually, three pairs were ordered, so let me kind of give you guys the rundown. These went for $25, these for $34, and then the i8X, as you could probably figure out, cost $36. That was the most expensive pair, and we're gonna see really what Photoshop does compared to what we actually got. I guess the classic unboxing of just all these really quickly, I mean, let's not make this longer than it needs to be. Smallest box? Do you think two earphones are coming? It only says earphone, so we might have been duped on that one. We're just ripping through. Oh, we're in luck today. We got two. And then the i8 TWS, the i8XF. But these look to be the largest on the list. So these are the i8X compared to the regular AirPods. You guys can obviously see the size difference. Yeah, the pods are pretty big. Don't think this is I anything worthy. Like, I wouldn't even want to put these in my ears. And finally, hopefully, the i7TW, we've checked these out before. These definitely are from the Wish video. You do got some colors. Do these come with the case? I have a feeling, I mean, these are from Walmart. That's what you gotta keep in mind. Oh, we have the classic charging cable. So I guess that's what you're left with. You're probably thinking, how do these actually stack up compared to what we saw online? So prices are around from 25 to $36 from Walmart. So I think it's really gonna come down to how they sound and Ev, would you be buying a pair? I mean, it's your local wish. Okay, to power them on. I mean, it's basically like the wish video. Same kind of setup, it's how e-commerce works. And just throwing them in the ear, you got the Cognoli. Ooh. Here I connect it. Guess there's really only one thing to do. Make sure you guys check out the playlist. Link down in the description. It's just the PB Jams. It's updated every single Friday. So make sure you just click the link. It'll take you to Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, whatever platform you have. We're going in, Ev. We're gonna see if these work for reals. Up first is the $25 pair, and we got Slushy and Sophia Reyes, Never Let You Go. So it's on the playlist. At 100% volume, not to damage the ears, but to really test these knockoffs out. Ooh. All right, you take a listen. It's not bad, for $25, I'm kind of into it. These aren't the HBQ ones, those are coming up next, but I gotta double check. Are these the HBQ ones? They're not, just the i7 TWSs. We've seen these before, they're pretty loud. No case though, so only way to charge them, you need to have that cord. It's not a fun cord to carry around. And what's interesting to see, and the reason why I'm testing all of these is the connectivity. So, I mean, for $25, these connect right on up. There's buttons on the sides, pretty easy to navigate around, and they work. Next up is the $34 pair. These are the i7 HB, wait, whoa, hold up. These are the HBQ i7 TWSs. That's a tongue twister there. I mean, I think we uh, know what to expect. The pods have the same kind of LED setup. There's a button on here. Where the other one would be? Smaller button though. It says the same pair. Wait, is this real? Oh man, they're just called the same thing. Under a different listing. Let's give this a go. Whoa. It's a little bit more balanced. I'm not lying on that. Hmm. What do you think about the case, Ev? Is it, is it a look? Is it bad? I mean, micro USB on the back versus lightning? They sound better. HBQ means something, higher, better quality. That's what I'm saying. As long as I'm with you, I never let you go. How do they sound to you guys? <laughs> you can't really hear it. The bass is definitely there on it. Whatever that means on a $34 pair of Walmart AirPods. Pretty impressed. Whoa, it just cuts out when you take one out of your ear. Is it pause? Maybe a full video needs to go down. I7s versus I8s, I9s, I10s, I11s, I12s. Drop a thumbs if you want it. Tory Lane's getting freaky on the beat. Ev, AirPods on the street, $34. Walmart, we up here, holler. Mm, mm, I like it. $34, not that bad. What I wanna see is what the i8Xs are all about. They look the most similar to, I think, what real AirPods are. A beautiful pair that's given it the best shot it can. The i8X, it's 
So same kind of light, it's rounded. You have the micro USB at the bottom, so not on the back. Looks a little bit more convincing. All right, size comparison time. So in front of me, we got the i8s, the i7s, and then the i7 HBQs right there. And then the real AirPods. You guys can kind of see a full size comparison. We're going into the i8Xs. Hitting the button, see how these sound. The i8Xs. Okay. These are a completely different sound stage than the other two. It sounds the fullest out of the three. Bass isn't that low, but it's the most rounded. And they don't like it when you take them out of your ears. So I guess we can all be robots forever. Not bad, $36, 34, and 25. Walmart, you've surprised me. This was kind of an interesting video that one of you guys recommended in the comments. So you guys know I do read them and reply basically after every video. From Walmart, here's kind of the final lowdown. You can kind of see where the thickness comes, I guess the bulkiness of some AirPods compared to others. But what's really interesting is how they sound and how they optimize that space. I mean, as you would expect, the most expensive pair, the i8Xs, do sound the best out of really all of them. It's the most rounded. But compared to the real AirPods, we're not really that far off with clones, and that's kind of why I think a full clone comparison at the end between every number, really everything, to just put it to rest is probably needed. So drop a thumbs if you guys want that. Make sure you get subscribed if you're new and join too to become a member. Super easy, get some perks, and it's pretty cheap. So that's it. Make sure you hit up the Instagram. It's just TechSmart, and I'll catch you guys next time.